Ever wonder how you feel to receive 1,300 phone call from the same person over a one month period? Apparently that's what happened to a police station in Japan. Hello there, how's your I'm Mega K. Alright, it has been quite a while since I covered some Japanese case, especially crime case. So yeah, let's make it that today random chat is about five small Japanese crime yet it can make you go what the f and from the start girl definitely you guys will be definitely wondering like who the hell called a police station 1300 time well apparently a japanese man at the age of 69 very nice age old man and yet he actually been actually charged on and been arrested on suspicions of obstructing police performance in their duty by calling them 1300 and seven times exactly over a one month period where he kind of like using abusive language or making complaint including words like your fire your thief or idiots and i need a arrest warrant i'm actually kind of like sure that i actually hear that this is a case but there is actually three things that we do need to take a look and number one thing often more than not while it can be considered a laughing stock don't get me wrong and i'm laughing when i saw this case mind you i actually did a live stream on that last time but not gonna link it up to that video so don't bother searching it up but the one thing that actually got me laughing was that a uh, while it's like receiving like it, what actually got me laughing was that 1300 times over one month period it means that this old man had called on average 40 to 50 times per day to the police station all while like making me really wonder like where did he got all the time or more like is he really that free and considering that when i say is he really that free there is actually a silver lining to it although this news don't really kind of like cover a lot of situation but when you kind of consider that this is a 60 plus year old man going to his 70 it really kind of like get you really wondering like is this old man a loner or does he actually have mental illness and normal one person will sit down and think that hey that is such a possibility well it's actually amazing um like 1307 time to a police station within a one month period i mean like in a way it can also mean that the person the old man is actually a loner where he got no one to care for him or he just kind of bought along the line when i told this to quite a few people that i know the one thing is that they all give me the same answer which is basically is this old man bought and it actually kind of like get me really sitting down and wondering like is he really kind of like a loner or does he actually have something deeper with his mental health issue often more than not when a person get older a person might can not uh, it's not just only their organ feeling but actually a person might can feel which is the reason why there is also brain disease at later stage of life which a lot of people and scientists are still studying one of the things that i do think based on this case is that i think that maybe this person is just a loner he just needs someone to give him care or maybe he just has some mental illness but the reason why i kind of like think that he may be likely on the loner side is that if he can say he think that he called too many times yeah i think that he just needs some tender loving care well it's just that at this point of time he just need a care from the police apparently <laughs> So if it's still not anything about it, would you actually go and give a prank call to 1300 time to a police station? My recommendation is please don't. Because in the second point I have to highlight in this video uh is for this case is that yes in japan if you do a prank call actually more so to a shop or to a police it can be considered obstruction of business or performance of the place and more so more it actually kind of like can prove that they can be arrested even if it's just a normal prank call so it's the reason why it is a problem like it, it, a lot of people may not be aware is that in, in japan it's also technically a crime to do a prank call or a spam call to a business like if you want to order pizza and you decide to make a prank out of it it is considered an obstruction of business so when that actually happened it is a chargeable crime you can get you you can get fine it depends on the severity of the case and the last thing that i do want to bring with is the third case on this case uh this whole audio like the trip the third point on this case is that 
it's not about hey he, he, the person is um the old man is just want to get arrested along the line it's that the one month period I'm 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 actually kind of like shocked. Like the police actually let the old man call them for over a one month period, over one thousand three hundred times. I mean, like if I received the same damn call from the same old man for over a day, like on average, I say that the person called around like on average over a one month period is like forty to fifty times. Dude, if I received the same call from the same person for over a day, over like a like thirty times, forty times. I think that a person need to have a visit in the first damn place. But I'm not sure is it because they have problem trying to find out who this person is or they trying to catch this person. But over a one month period, it's kind of like not telling me a lot because it's kind of like just saying that the police is not competent to consider like catching this old man earlier. So in a way, this problem is that if they actually do catch the um the person in advance, maybe they can assist the old man with additional help, or even better, like over the phone call, trying to give the person like uh, chat with the old man, like does he need extra help, or is it that he got actually something deeper happening to him? So all you know, this is really one of the what the F cave and. I think that this is really one of the cases where it will probably be forgotten by many people and it's I mean like in a in a way it is a small case a spread up most people will write, write it off as a small prank call or a scam call whatever call that is up there but it's it's kind of like really get me really going like what the f how the hell you up an old man at a very nice age going calling a police station of more than 1300 times so it's really a very sad case, but at the same time, it's really what made me really go, what the F? I mean, like, imagine you get receiving a call over one month period of 1,300 times. Yeah, I think most of the time you'll definitely be wondering, like, what the, is old man trying to do? <laughs> but that is not, not just only, I mean, like, just the first one, you really get me go, like, almost like six minutes over it. So let me read through every other thing. Now, another one, so-called small case as well, but not a lot of people is aware, is that it really kind of, like, give me, like, what the? this case again <laughs> like basically a and apparently i'm not gonna say is it true or not a man a japanese man to be a said got arrested for uploading a search image of himself himself to sns under the name of a real life woman now is this a case of LGBTQ situation where this person is trying to be either some fanboy or transgender along the line? I do not know. But what got me like, totally like what the F is that it's a 49 year old Japanese man Apparently, it may be other men, it can be other, uh, it may be just a friend boy or it may be other races, but let's just say it's a Japanese man because when they say a Japanese name, yeah. Definitely a Japanese name, a uh, Japanese man. So it's a 49 year old salary man apparently who got accused of uploading image of himself using a name of a real life woman. And where's the problem? Well, apparently the name that he chose turned out that it was a name of a real life person who later go on to inter the the site which i very likely think that it is a possibility of twitter or maybe tinder along the line who knows but the woman saw his uh saw his image using her name and somehow somehow some other woman decided to say hey uh, let's let's call the police because there is basically considered stealing or identity which is anyone who knows very well of stealing or identity is a crime so yep the, the person got arrested and to me it really kind of like got me really what the f is like if the name of the person who decided to go with the hey let's use a name that maybe is not real but turn out that to be real along the line and that it's like you're, he's using a female name but he's uploading himself it's like, what the hell is it ever even happening? So, in case anyone wants to know, there is actually such cases of people going, when I say Twitter, it's actually true. When anyone who knows very well that in Japan, there is actually a term called Urakata, or Uraaka, sorry, sorry. So, um, 
Ura Aka is basically mean Ura and Aka Oto. Uh, basically, it can also mean the word Aka being does. So Ura Aka is basically a sub account that a person use that is not well known to anyone. So if the person want to indicate want to create a sub account they will not indicate their real name they will not indicate their whatsoever and it is a thing and often more than not in that account it's basically showing a sub image of themselves or kind of like saying that if you want to have um central relationship you can call me like you can dm me along the line like with that in mind and it is actually a thing but i will recommend you guys to check out this website uh, link in the description below to understand more from what is it called the ura aka yoshi to know more about it but on the other hand uh one of the point that i would actually let you guys know is that there are often more than not that you if you guys want to find them out just write ura aka i definitely think that you you'll be surprised at that it actually survives uh, it actually still exists in twitter so maybe maybe after this um maybe after this video they will all be removed who knows but it often more than not it is really one of the so-called dark side of japan twitter along the line so i'm just telling you guys that but it's really kind of like i'm not sure is it really called coincidence or bad luck for this man where he actually upload himself and personally i find it like very observed but on the other hand i'm actually kind of surprised that there are actually people going to see a 49 year old man see, uh making observed image or video about himself i mean like imagine like you see um there are actually people going to twitter just to see a 49 year old naked man tell you a lot about what happening on the internet right <laughs> so anyway there is not just only uh of crazy stuff that is happening in japan but it's really one of the moments that you, you really want to say like what the heck <laughs> but I, I mean like definitely all these two cases is gonna overpower the last three cases because if if those three these two cases is enough to break you guys let's just go something simple so let's let's go with something simple but still what the f <laughs> so apparently on tokyo there is a japanese 41 year old man who go and decided to say that hey he's going to remove the underwear of a lady on a sunday morning yes in case anyone wanted to know i did do a little bit of research may 12 2024 is a sunday so Here's your answer. So this actually happened in Tokyo on, on the train itself. Anyone who knows very well that in train there is such a thing called on train molesting or the word called chika, which is basically sexual harassment. And often more than not, chikan is actually a um, arrestable crime. And although it is a crime, it is still a crime that is always happening in Japan train. So it's actually more common than you guys might think. I have lived in Japan for six years and I tend to take train at time, more so early in the morning or at night, where there is always a moment of crowd. And often more than not, it, you will get to see like a lady who kind of like walk away out of nowhere or you see and uh, see some guy trying to go and touch some lady along the line. So it is not unheard of i have seen it out close and i know very well that those people do need to get a bong in the head with a three meter baguette but at the end of the day it is still a rushable crime but what made this case go what the f is actually two simple point number one is that this person actually tried to remove the lily underwear it's like early in the morning 7 50 a.m she got her not just only has like not only does the person got his hand up the young lady uh skirt but it actually trying to tr like, like she like early in the morning is already kind of one thing when a, like it's in the morning so obviously i can kind of like guess that the person uh, like the lady must be dozing which which kind of like being pointed out she does but what got me really kind of like go what the f is that the person tried to remove the underwear and touch her thigh so obviously the lady, the woman realized it and then rushed off and informed the police uh and in the form uh, inform the train station uh staff as well that they called the police and they kind of arrest the person but 
what got it more ridiculous is that the person claimed that he was drunk and don't remember anything. A very typical excuse in Japan, often more than not, that if anyone would know that I'm being covered a lot of Japanese crime, often more than not, small crime, they will use the word, I was drunk! <laughs> but it's actually kind of like giving the benefit of doubt because on a Sunday, basically on a Sunday morning, it's, it can be taken that the person may actually be drunk because for me who live in Japan, um, the most time people would love to drink is on a Friday night or a Saturday night. So this person may actually take the train the next morning. But the reason why I still don't think the person is drunk is that if he can take a freaking train on a 7.50 a.m., well, there are cases of that you anyone who say that a drunk person can manage to take a freaking train somehow, somewhere, somewhat, um, I don't think he or she who is drunk on a train would be in any right condition to take a underwear off a lady all right because if anything i would think that the person would be drunk would be basically like this and not movable but if this person can start moving and trying to do chicken along the line yeah this person definitely just trying to use i'm what's wrong as an excuse but Often more than not, I had, like I mentioned earlier, when when you kind of like seen people doing this sort of crazy stuff when they are drunk, well, get to hear that sometimes when a person is drunk, they would really do crazy stuff. And when I say they do crazy stuff, well, apparently for the fourth case for today, a 61-year-old man was arrested on suspicious of indecent behavior for urinating in front of a police station or police box of the Kobang in Hiroshima on a Saturday. So, yes, you hear it, right? In Japan, it is not unheard of of Japanese people getting drunk and doing crazy stuff. If a person can do crazy stuff when they are drunk, obviously you can definitely expect that they will be going to anywhere and urine. And mind you guys, unfortunately or fortunately or somewhere, somewhere whether you want to say it's lucky or unlucky, yes, I have seen someone who urine in public while I was living in Japan during the six years while in Kyoto. One near my place, another one time I still remember it was right outside the freaking bar. <laughs> So yes, um, I'm actually kind of like surprised that to see like sometimes when people say that, hey, I thought pop Japanese public toilet is very hard to find. Yeah, I believe that most Japanese people do agree with that. But let me give you guys a simple advice. If you guys are having difficulty to find a Japanese toilet, public toilet, there is always a public toilet near to a station. So go and check them out. If not, go to a convenience store or fast food big fast food restaurant. They normally do have public toilet themselves but the only thing you do need to kind of like give back in return is that if you go to a fast food restaurant to use the toilet make sure to eat over uh, eat a meal there or if you are not hungry maybe order a drink if not go to a convenience store and use their public toilet if they have one and make sure to buy a drink or something cheap like a candy from them because it is kind of like just telling them that hey i'm i'm uh i'm also here to shop kind of like just kind of like give and take along the line but other than that, of it is kind of still amazed me to know as then about how people can really kind of like just say that hey I couldn't make it to the toilet on time you know what instead of peeing and make my pants wet and go back and change it along the line I'm gonna to pee in front of the police station <laughs> like seriously it's it's like I can just imagine the shot on the police when they just seeing a man zipping down their pants and then just peel all the pee on in front of the police. Yeah, number one thing is that the police need to clean out the damn pee because the smell is going of a pee of a drunk person is going to be very damn strong. But number two is actually more so that the person is just outright telling the whole damn every uh, the whole damn world is that hey I'm gonna get arrested for doing something indecent. <laughs> It's like, dude, when when you when 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 this person can claim that uh he was drunk and just decided to remove a woman underwear, then I I guess that that would actually cases of people really go going to the point of peeing in front of a freaking cobra, but dude, 
even so, right, one of the things a lot of people did need to understand is that the legal age to drink in Japan is 20 years old. I'm not unheard of cases of people not 20 drinking it. And often more than not, it is a pr- case of problem or it may be something deeper. But the one last case for today is before I close everything up is that Apparently, a 16-year-old high school girl was suspected of not just only assaulting a bus driver, but she was also found drunk. Yes, you did not hear me wrong. A 16-year-old Japanese young lady, not only did she freaking assault the person after the person trying to wake her up and trying to stop her from getting off the bus without paying the bus fee, but however, the they realized that the young lady was found out to be four times over the limit for alcohol. I do not know how the hell she got drunk. But the thing is, right, it's a 16 year old young lady. Amazingly, eh? Um, obviously, for all the case, I, I, we have to talk about is that like even for the earlier case the person who is unable to break like uh, when a person is unable to hold on actually more so when they are drunk right it's really one of the cases where when a person is drunk they can't think properly i I can understand like normally like when you're drunk you, you you can't think normally and obviously the first thing is that you just want to pee but sometimes karma is really hitting at the wrong places and you pee in front of a freaking kobang the police boss or the police station however you want to call it along the line yeah the karma hit you right in the face so listen don't drink best don't drink and even if so if you do something bad don't even use drink uh, or drunk or whatever thing as an excuse because if you are a freaking chick out you get arrested if you freaking pee in front of the police you get arrested but if you are young and you drink the parents are gonna, gonna be disappointed but one of the things that actually kind of from this for this particular case that i've get me really go what the f i mean i'm sure all the case today is really made me go what the f is that what made me go what the f is not about the young lady got arrested of trying to assault the bus driver it's actually more so that how the hell this young lady managed to get drunk yes it's really kind of get me really wondering uh, how is she able to get her hand on alcohol or was it that she was hanging out with guys who managed to give her alcohol and if that is the case right what actually made me even more concerned is that was she, she kind of like suggested to another staff with essential situation imagine that like, if she got drunk and then she ended up getting raped by people that would be a whole new different story but so far the only case about this is that they she got arrested for assaulting a bus driver and that she got drunk yeah it really kind of like show a lot about issue about uh, and about he- people can just buy alcohol and give to young people and make them drunk along the line it is a problem this is really me it is really one of the case that gave uh, there is two case that made me go out of the is number one how the hell she got drunk and number two the uh, something happened to her during that drunk period so at the end of the day i, f- I feel like the parent is going to be disappointed with this young lady but if the parent is not even caring about the, the young lady as well and don't even give the support to the young lady yeah that will be a whole new problem but hey today is just all technically my speculative thought just a random chat any case that today out of the five cases any of the case got you go what the f or make you got surprised or do you feel like i have missed out on some small case yet really go what the f write in the comment below we can discuss it further but if you do like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where i talk about stuff that never follow a single trend of sunlight doesn't make sense or maybe once in a while if i got enough uh, another five more go what the f case then i will probably just cover it up with another random chat video but till then i hope you guys have a nice day all night bye